In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a chatbot with a persona by using Amazon Bedrock Service API in Python and Boto3. For this, you need to have access to an AWS account. And as Amazon Bedrock is now generally available, you should be able to use that service. So make sure that in your IAM policy, you have rights to Amazon Bedrock service. Now let me show you the code which I'm going to use for this demo. Let me first walk you through step by step to this code and then we will run it. First, I'm importing the libraries required for this demo. And if this is the first time you are using it, then you need to have AWS CLI installed. And then you should set your AWS credentials to your AWS account locally. And I'm running this from my local laptop. If you don't have access to it, then you can use any of the AWS Cloud Shell or any other similar service. Okay. Also, you need to have LangChain installed locally or wherever you are running it. If you don't have it, then simply run pip install LangChain and you should be good. And still, if you're having issues, I have various other videos where I explain it in detail how to do that. Now, after importing these three standard libraries, then you need to import some of the modules which are being used in the subsequent code. So first I am importing the conversation chain from LangChain, then the bedrock from LangChain's LLMs, and then also the memory. Because when we are doing chat, the chatbot needs to remember the history of the conversations. In the first this conversation chain, it creates a chain of the chat. And then we also are supplying it the prompt template, which will be used by the model we are going to use. And for this one, we are going to use Anthropic Cloud V2 model, which is specified as line number 32. Okay, going back above at line number 10, we where we have um, imported this prompt template. And this is the template format, which is required by the Cloud V2. If you are following AWS documentation, then it, um, as I speak at this moment, it is not updated. So if you follow that, you might get an error. This is the correct template which you need to use and in this particular format. In this template, we are just telling our model that this is a friendly conversation between a human and an AI, and then AI is talkative and all that stuff. And this is the important bit where we are putting in the history, in braces, then human input, and then assistant. And this is the assistant, which will be the AI or the model. Then we are initializing this prompt by using the prompt template function, which we imported above here in this line. And then from there, we are passing it history and input, which is part of this template, uh, prompt template, and also this template, which we have created. So this is how we initialize our prompt for our cloud model. Once that's done, we are just getting or instantiating this client for Bedrock. And for Bedrock service, we need to use Bedrock dash runtime service name if we are using it in API. Once that's done, we need to uh, initialize our conversation buffer memory where the chat will be stored. Again, if you're using AWS documentation, it might be outdated. At this moment, you need to use this syntax in order for it to work. Then we are initializing the chat earlier. First thing we're telling uh, the user message will be that we need this model to act as a plumber. And then it should be answering the plumbing related questions of people. And then the AI will respond back that it is now act as, it will act as plumber. And then as I mentioned earlier, we are using the Anthropic Cloud V2 model for this in our bedrock service. And then we are initializing the conversation chain by providing it the model and also the memory. And memory is simply our conversation which we initialize with initial messages from user and AI. Once that's done, we are setting up our prompt which we already have described above. And then all we need to do is to send that to the conversation through the model and we will be asking this LLM to predict. If you remember in my previous videos, all LLM is, it is an algorithm from AI, which predicts the next answer intelligently. So that is where this conversation.prec module comes in. We are sending it this input, and then on the basis of its own data set, it will go in and then 
will try to return us the answer. Let's see how it works. Let me run it. I'm just running it in my local system. Let me make it a bit bigger here. So you can see that this is the prompt template which comes here. And then human is asking what are steps to renovate a bathroom. Here in this question, an AI assistant is thinking. Let's wait for it to get back with the answer. There you go. It has returned uh, us the steps. There are seven steps according to it. And then it is telling us plan the layout, get required permits, protect surfaces, and then so on and so forth. That is cool. Now let's ask it another question. Let me comment this one. And I'm asking it, how do you fix a leaking tab? Let me clear the screen and run, then run it again. Let's wait for it to return. And you can see that uh, you don't have to install any model. You don't have to do anything. All we are doing is we are calling Bedrock API to access this model. So this is sort of a managed LLM or managed uh, generative AI from AWS. So these are the steps which it has given us. Uh, quite cool because it is not only telling us how to do it, but it is telling us the prerequisites like turning off the water and then removing, removing the tab handle and so on and so forth. And then let me also ask it the third question. Let me comment this one and save. Clear this and run it again. I'm asking it how long does it take to become a plumber? Let's see how it goes. So it has given us a very generic but quite quality answer that you know we need to study, you need to do the apprenticeship and so on. Pretty cool. Let me ask it a non-plumbing question to see what it does. How to write a Python program to reverse the list. Let's see if our plumber knows it or not. Maybe it's a former Python developer who lost his job due to generative AI and has become a plumber. So he might already know it, but let's see. Okay, that is good. Uh, so you see that we have already given it a persona and it is sticking to that persona. And maybe I could ask it, um, You'll be acting as a plumber, but you might also give answers to non plumbing questions. Plumbing. Maybe I will just remove this. See what it does. Professional answers. Let's see, I have just made the persona a bit different. Still it's a plumber, but I have just removed the change the prompt a bit to remove that plumbing related stuff just to see what it does. There you go. This time it was able to give me the answer because uh, it's not a, because this is just a model model, it's not a plumber. So it is all about our prompt engineering, how we address it. So if you want to confine and construct this context, you need to be very specific in your prompt, but you could make it generic too. And then same goes with the answer you are receiving. If you want to receive the same answer every time, you need to reduce the temperature or randomness by using hyperparameters, or you could increase it. And you can simply uh, provide it in the parameters. So that's it guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I will drop the link to this code, which I will put in my blog and you can copy it and run it on your own. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments and if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.